think they say that 50% of all marriages end in divorce. It is an unfortunate statistic, but a fact of life. So I am going to show you how to sell a house during a divorce. First of all, I want to tell you I'm very sorry you're going through this. I know it is a tough time for you and your family. Divorce creates a lot of stress and concerns and financial questions. I have been there myself and I know how hard it can be. For many people, selling a home is very hard because of all the memories and the history. Just remember, you will always have the memories, even without the house. Many of the steps to selling a home are the same whether you're going through a divorce or not, but there are some key steps you need to take if you are going through a divorce, and I'm going to go over those with you. The first question to answer, should I sell my house now or wait until the divorce is final? This is a tough one, and much of it depends on how well the two of you get along and can make decisions together. There are many steps to selling a home and many things that need to be done, and communication is huge. You should be able to sell a house during a divorce if you have a good system. Sometimes it may be easier to wait until the divorce is final if the home will be awarded to one person. If it's going to be split between the two of you and you both have to make the same decisions, then it it's not that much different to sell during a divorce or after it is final. There are some questions you will need answers to. Do you have the rights to sell? If so, will the home be awarded to you in the divorce decree? And can you make decisions on your own? If you're both going to share the responsibility of selling the house, then will one of you make the decision and the other one go along with it? Both of you will have to sign and agree to the paperwork regardless unless a quick claim deed is involved. If you're going to make joint decisions, are you both still good at communicating and making decisions together? If not, will one of you make the decision and the other one just sign? Maybe your real estate agent will need to talk to both of you and resolve the situation and issues with each of you. So once you figure out communication logistics, you need to find a real estate agent that you trust and has experience. It is best to find an agent that sells real estate full time. There will be a lot of questions and communication that needs to be done. And you want to make sure your agent is available to the buyers to show the home and to you when you have questions. Your agent will have a real estate agency relationship with both of you. Both you and your spouse or soon to be ex-spouse will be his or her client. Your real estate agent will partner with you to determine market value of your home and what you will net at closing to determine if you have enough equity to sell. It is quite expensive to sell a home, so you want to make sure you don't go negative. You can watch my video on cost to sell a home. It will help you figure out the closing costs involved. Once you have all agreed on price for the home, you will need to agree on who will be doing the work to get the home ready to sell. There's typically packing to do, repairs, staging, cleaning, decluttering, and removing items, taking them to the dump. Another big question is where are you going to move to? Do you or your ex need to buy a house? If so, do you need the proceeds from this house to purchase a new house? If you do not need the proceeds, that is the least stressful way to buy a new house. Maybe you need to wait until the house is sold to get your proceeds, then buy, or maybe you can afford to get pre-approved for a new house without having to sell this house first. If either of these are true for you, then you just need to work with your agent to start finding a new home. If you need the proceeds from the house you are selling in order to buy, then you need to work closely with your real estate agent on timing so all things work out. It can be a bit tricky. You may need another living arrangement for a short term. You can watch my video on buying and selling a home at the same time for some solutions. So in summary, communication and decision-making are the biggest factors when selling your house during a divorce. The more communication you have, the more education you have, and the more decisions you can make up front, the easier the process will be. You will get through this. We just want it to be as easy as possible for you. If I can answer any questions, please message me or fill out the buying and selling form below so I can help you through this. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time.